The beavers gave him a gift A coat made of sacred hides They asked him to spread the word Of the old ways he'd kept inside With no apparent skill and only his will He set out to do what he was told And be a modern-day mountain man Or just some guy in a beaver coat A mountain man in crocs and no socks comes down to the river's edge. Across the river, a marmot calls out a warning that man is approaching. Ah! Ah! It's another day for a guy in a beaver coat as he checks his beaver mail. The beavers from the east have sent word of a grand coach that travels the country. The coach is driven by a brother to the beaver, a large man named Bob, and his wife, Mrs. B. Together with their faith and tools, they travel the country helping those in need with projects on the homestead or anything that can help make a happy home. According to the beaver, all that Guy needs to do is cry out to Bob. That message will be carried along on the wind, and Bob shall receive that message and come to the Pacific Northwest. I must say I'm confused as to why the beavers would give me such a message. Their confidence in me must be low. I had better call for an emergency session with the beaver. The summons travels through the water and reaches the alpha male. The mountain man tries to convince the beaver that his skills are sharp and he needs no help. But the beaver's not having it. He reminds Guy of his past performance and how he's stretching the truth. The beaver is disgusted and ashamed. Guy knows there's only one thing to do. Possible. 
Paris.